Investigators will comb through debris from the huge blaze that destroyed a downtown LA apartment building to determine if the fire was intentionally set. KTLA 5's Jennifer Gould joins us live from downtown LA with the latest on the investigation there. Jennifer, good morning. That's the big question, and joining us now first on at 5 is uh, the public information officer with the uh, L.A. City Fire Department, David Ortiz, and uh, we see some smoldering still going on in the structure here at 906 Fremont. What is keeping you guys from being able to go in? Is it still the hot spots and the danger of the scaffolding and, and some of the structure around you? Mostly it is a possibility of collapse from the structure itself, the framework that is still standing up. Um, we realize that most of the um, final extinguishment is going to be using the uh, use of heavy equipment. So once we could get some heavy equipment in there, we can put out the final hot spots. Uh, we do have a couple of hand lines in there and we're, we're still putting water on it, but it's very minimal when we have little flare-ups. The big question is why is the department getting assistance from the alcohol, tobacco, firearms, and uh, explosives experts? Uh, do you believe it is criminal in nature? No, we do not have an indication of that, but we have to be able to um, go th through every avenue and, and make sure that we are uh, looking at every possibility. Um, ATF has laboratories. They have um, more personnel available to us than we have in our own arson unit. Our arson unit is one of the biggest ones um, lo regionally, but ATF has laboratories and they have personnel that is available, so we're going to make use of their resources for our investigation, especially being this uh, high dollar loss uh, for, you know, um, because of the fire. Speaking of uh, high dollar, we're hearing it's at least $10 million to the structure itself. Uh, do you think you'll be able to get in there sometime today, or is it still going to be tomorrow as we are hearing? Uh, we are in there in certain parts of it. Um, we have our hand lines in there. We're extinguishing it, but we're trying to keep our personnel out because of the risk management aspect of it. We're trying to minimize um, unneeded injuries to firefighters. There's no reason for firefighters to be in there uh, risking injury. Um, what are we there to save? The, the, the fire's out, and so um, we're taking our time with this fire, and we're going to be meticulous about the um, the movement of the lumber that's still smoldering. It, it burned so fierce, and people could see the flames and the smoke from so far away. Does it seem like, and obviously this is just a preliminary indication or, or question rather, could there have been some sort of accelerant involved? Uh, obviously there's homeless encampments nearby. Was there someone possibly inside there that uh, may have set something that accidentally went off or possibly the use of an actual accelerant itself? Those are all questions we're going to visit, and again, that's why we're bringing ATF so that we make sure we ask all those questions, and um, it'd be too um, it'd be too early to make those assumptions right now. So we want to make sure we bring the ATF to assist us with the investigation, and uh, right now it'd be premature to make any assumption. All right, Firefighter Ortiz, thank you very much for joining us live right now, first on 5. In the meantime, again, uh, there is still some smoldering, so they're hoping uh, to get some answers, again, with the help of the federal government, ATF, explosive experts, to figure out what caused this humongous inferno uh, at this 1.3 million square foot apartment complex that was under construction yesterday. Reporting live here in downtown Los Angeles, sending it back to you.